Hello guys, I got some gardening tips for you today. Um, let's go ahead and get this video started. Um, the first tip is uh, place your garden in your yard where you can see regularly. You know that saying, out of sight, out of mind? You know what I'm talking about. Um, that way you are much more likely to spend more time in it. Um, the second thing is follow the sun. Um, a lot of people misjudge sunlight as a common pitfall for new beginners. Um, if you're first learning to how to garden. So just keep an eye on the sunlight in your yard. And uh, most edible plants, including uh, vegetables, herbs, and flowers even, and fruits, uh, need at least six hours of sun in order to thrive. Alright, the next one I have, stay close to water. Um, one of the best garden tips you'll ever get is to plan your new garden near a water source. Make sure you can run a hose to your garden site so you don't have to log water um, to get each time your plants get thirsty. Uh, the best way to tell if your plants need water is when you stick your finger down in the soil and go up to knuckle deep. Um, if it's dry, it's time to water. Alright, number four, starting with great soil. Uh, when starting a garden, um, one of the pieces of advice I could tell you is invest in soil that is well drained um, and nutrient rich. Uh, achieve this just right blend by mixing three inches of Miracle Grow all purpose garden soil into the top six to eight inches of existing soil. And if you're planning on the plant in the ground, especially, but if you're planned on raised bed, um, you can use the Miracle Grow raised bed soil, which is a perfect weight and texture for the raised bed growing. Okay, number five, consider containers. Uh, when spaces is a premium, uh, look to containers. You could grow many plants in pots, and including vegetables, herbs, flower, fruit trees, uh, berries, scrubs. And when gardening in containers, use a pot that is large enough for the plant it's hosting and fill it with miracle Grow moisture control potty mix. And not only is it uh, specially formulated to help plants in pots, it thrives, but it also helps protect against overwatering and underwatering. Okay, number six, choose the right plants. It is important to select plants um, that match your growing conditions. Um, this means putting your sun loving plants into sunny spots and choosing heat, heat top tolerated plants I can't even talk um, in warm climates and give the ground goblin vines like pumpkins or um, melons ample elbow room um, or like a trellis to climb do your homework and pick your variety and that will grow well where you live in the space that you have um, and and to get the step up on the success when growing veggies and herbs, starting with various young plants, um, you could get the already grown plants from stores and everything. And uh, miss, you know, you don't have to necessarily have to grow from a seed. Um, number seven, discover your zone. Uh, knowing your uh, hardiness zone can help you choose the best plants. Simply by uh, putting, it describes the coldest place in a plant can grow. And the higher the zone number, the warmer the climate. So if the plant is ha um, hardy to zone four and your garden is zone five, that plant will survive in your yard. However, if, if uh, your yard is zone three, it's too cold to grow that particular plant. So make sure you're aware of your zones. Um, learn your frost date. Uh, planning too early or late 
in the season can spell disaster for your garden. Um, you need to know the last average spring frost date for your area so you don't accidentally kill plants by putting them prematurely. And it also is good to know if your first average fall frost date so that you can get your plants harvested or moved indoors to late season cold damage them. Okay, add some mulch. Uh, apply a layer of mulch that is two to three inches deep around each plant. Uh, this will produce weeds by uh, reduce weeds by blocking out the sun and reduce moisture loss um, through evaporation. So you have to water less. For a polished look, put down a layer of Scotts bag mulch, or you could put down straw, shredded leaves, pine uh, pine straw, or some other locally available materials. Um, number 10, feed plants regularly. We've already talked about the importance of starting with great soil, with regular boost or high quality nutrition for your plants. Um, in other words, amazing soil plus top notch plant food equals super garden success. So a month after planting, begin feeding your garden with plant food like miracle Grow or water uh, all-purpose plant food. Be sure to follow the label directions. Uh, stock up on your basic tools that you need to make it easier to grow. And your general rule, put the tall veggies towards the back of your bed. And uh, mid-sized ones in the middle and smaller plants in the front or as a border. Uh, consider adding pollinator plants to attract beneficiary insects that can only help you get better harvest but will also prey on garden pests. Um, I've come up with a list of best plants for beginners. Um, growing vegetables and herbs and flowers. It doesn't have to be difficult. Um, by focusing on plants that are relatively easy to grow, um, your chances of success increases. So even if you're a new gardener, all you need to grow these easy care plants are sunlight, good soil, regular water, and a bit of plant food. That's all you need. And with growing veggies and herbs, your job will be even easier if you plant vigorous plants um, from bonnie plants instead of seeds. And starting a garden with young plants jump starts the process of getting your harvest time sooner than if you were to sow your seeds. Um, let's move on to the list. We're going to start with the vegetables. Um, got leaf lettuce, like leaf lettuce varieties such as butter crunch, um, Roman, and uh, red leaf matures relatively quickly and you can actually start harvesting as soon as the leaves are large enough to nibble on. Lettuce grows well in containers with uh, shallow roots that don't need deep pots to thrive. That's a good thing. Uh, peas, two weeks before the average last spring frost to harvest a continuously supply for um, during the summer. It's all different dates, like every two weeks, no later than mid-June. Okay, then radishes. One of the fastest crops, radishes, uh, are ready to harvest in about three weeks. Um, as a bonus, you can also eat, eat the leafy tops uh, as greens, basically. Uh, because radishes grow so quickly, instead of uh, planting all of the seeds at once, try uh, sowing a few every week or two. So you'll be able to harvest continuously for a longer period. Radishes grow well in both beds and pots. Uh, tomatoes are really easy to grow as well. Um, clown and peas, these grow quickly in the spring and fall. Um, 
plant them along a fence or a trellis so they can climb and you can harvest them more easily. Once summer heat arrives and plants are done producing, pull the pea vines and plant pole peas in these places. But veggies grow well in containers as well. Um, then we're going to go to carrots. Plant loosely in, in sandy soil. Uh, spring or fall, carrots tolerate frost, so that's a good thing. Uh, cucumbers. Prepare in advance for cucumbers amid the soil with a fertilizer high in nitrogen and potassium to support the plant large yields. If possible, plant cucumbers in the sun next to a fence. Um, the fence will sh uh, serve as a support for climbing and act as a shelter as well from the wind. And you can also plant them next to corn as well. Uh, summer squash zucchini. I love zucchini. Um, they like, they do well with uh, com composted soil. Uh, plant them three to six feet apart in warm soil and lots of sun. Always water at the soil level and not leave and do not uh, water on the leaves to avoid the powdery mildew. All right, now we're gonna go on to herbs. Uh, basil, the herb love warm weather. So that's a good thing if you live like down here in the south, we have really hot and humid weather. So you definitely love it here. Uh, so plant once frosty nights are long gone. Uh, be sure to remove the flower buds to keep the plant producing the tasty leaves. All right, rosemary. It grows well either pots or ground, and it can handle dry spells. So that's a good thing for the south as well. Uh, once it matures, rosemary is a Mediterranean, Mediterranean uh, herb, and so it likes the heat. So that's another good one. And chives. No special treatment required for chives. Uh, trim them often by giving them a haircut and shearing off the top third of the of the plant. And flowers are edible as well. So that's a good thing. All right, that will conclude my video. And if you like it, please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and y'all have a lovely night.